Jet, what about Shohei? What's going on there? What, what's anything new? We're not allowed to talk does about it. Look it. Like? Can't talk. What would it. you predict, Jet? Uh, we are on Shohei watch right now because I think sometime in the next probably 96 hours or so, Whoa. we're going to have a much better sense of where Shohei Otani is going to wind up. And look, the favorites from the beginning, AJ, have been the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is a team that every year goes out and spends $250 plus million dollars on payroll, has been over $300 million in the past, and needs a guy like that. Uh, Otani is familiar with with Southern California having spent the first six seasons of his career with the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is what the Toronto Blue Jays have done. The Blue Jays, out of nowhere, have made a really strong run at Otani. And I'm not sure if they're considered the favorites at this point because this whole thing has been under a shroud of secrecy. And, you know, the, Dave Roberts, the Dodgers manager, acknowledged a couple days ago that the Dodgers had met with Otani. And, like, pearls were being clutched everywhere because, frankly, Otani and his camp went to everyone before the process started and said, we don't want any leaks, we don't want this in the media, we want no acknowledgement that this historic free agency is happening right now. Which I think is, uh, honestly, understandable, but kind of a ridiculous conceit because baseball needs all the help and all the love it can get. And I know Shohei Otani provides that on the field, but just imagine if this thing had turned into not even a circus. Imagine if Otani showed up to a ballpark or showed up to a meeting and took a picture and put it on Instagram. There's there's like no responsibility talk. for that. But oh, yeah. You 100% would. It, it, you know, okay, where's Shohei today? He's in L.A. He's in Toronto. He's in San Francisco. He's in Chicago. He's going all over the place. He's meeting with these people. You just have to have a caption that says, you know, if you're at Dodger Stadium, I would love to have a Dodger dog. Or, or if you're up in Toronto, like I'm not fucking like smoke I mean, weed with Drake. Yeah, this place blows. Actually, no. If you're if you're in Toronto, it could say uh, we got sick of Gumpy after 446 days and booted him back to the U.S. Oh, oh. Good to see you again, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. So Speaking of awful things, no, my God, Connor, that no, shirt is worse no. than the Patriots. Oh, see, see you're oh. reaching there. The Patriots joke was good. You know this isn't a bad shirt, Jet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so that was uh, Gumpy, then Con Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to predict we figured it was who order. was going to get buried first, and then... Yeah, I had to get it in. Yeah, uh, hey, which we... Hey. Thank you. Let's see it. Oh! That, now, it it is dropped quick. a couple missiles. I will on say that. Yeah, remember you said what? Ten million dollars <laughs> gets you one jet. That's been seven, eight. Yeah, of yeah about that. Seven, eight of these things flying. Fleet. The Blue Angels just yeah. came through this entire thing. Uh, you listed off a bunch of places when you were fantasizing about what a Shohei Otani free agency could be. You said Chicago, L.A., Toronto, um, San Francisco. Are those the yep. like? Who, how many people were in this conversation? Just from what you know, which is obviously very little because Shohei's team doesn't want anybody to know anything. I mean, at the beginning, we thought that Boston was going to be in it and that Texas was going to be in it. The New York Mets were going to be in it. But uh, I think pretty early on, they recognized the likelihood of getting Otani was probably pretty minimal. And so they pivoted toward other things. And there haven't been a whole lot of moves in free agency at this point because Otani has not signed and because Yoshinobu Yamamoto, the right-hander out of Japan, who's probably himself going to get upward of $300 million, uh, has not signed. So the market's kind of been stuck at this point. There haven't been a lot of transactions so far, uh, but there's a good reason because Otani is the best player that we've ever seen and because Yamamoto is 25 years old. And in baseball, it's so extraordinarily rare that you see a 25-year-old free agent, a guy whose best years, frankly, you can get. And so, oh, are you picking it up? There we go. Uh, and and so once those guys sign, you know, Otani, I think it's probably going to be early next week. Yamamoto is going to be more like mid-December. And once that happens, everything else is going to move. But how the much, fact that Soto got Shohei? dealt to the Yankees. How much Shohei? What do you think? I, I want to hear what like is he a, gonna pitch? a football guy thinks. Yeah, he'll pitch eventually. 
So, he won't pitch this year, but he's going to pitch after that. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Will he hit and pitch after this year? So this year just, yep. they're just resting yep. the elbow pretty much? Had elbow surgery and got to take the year off from pitching. But, you know, most guys who have Tommy John surgery or a reconstructed elbow surgery end up coming back. We don't know how good he's going to be, but he will come back. And, you know, from what I have been told, the expectation is that for at least the next half decade, he has the opportunity to go and be the type of pitcher that he was, which was a Cy Young caliber guy, in addition to being one of the best hitters in the game. Okay, so Ty just said $600 million. Is that yeah. what? 600 How many years? I would guess if it's 600 it's probably going to be 12 but they could potentially spread it out over, you know, 13 or 14. Uh, when you've got guys who are pitching into their early 40s, um, you can rationalize a contract. You remember when the NHL was trying to spread like contracts over so many years, like these 15-year deals that uh, were getting scoffed at. With baseball, you've got guys like Justin Verlander pitching into their 40s, Rich Hill pitching into their 40s. So it's a very reasonable idea that Shohei Otani could, probably won't, but could pitch into his 40s. They're paying people $600 million to hit baseballs right now? They sure are. Come on, Conrad. Oh! Oh! It's not bad, Pat. It works. That's broke. That's broke forever. <laughs> oh, no. That's broke forever. What'd you hit? <laughs> Good contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> not that's moving. Broke. That's broke forever. No, it's not moving. <laughs> had to get a good hack on Great it. Great hack. $600 million. Into Wait, gap. What, what broke? <laughs> I think it's his PTZ here, I think. Oh, okay. Huh? Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 resetting? Wait. Resetting? It's like R2D2. What are you standing there for? I'm hitting balls trying yeah. to make $600 million. Move, camera. <laughs> it's dead. Thing's dead. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh shut down. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh no! Yeah, oh, it's a little it's, fuzzy. It's, it's not going past that that little. Yeah, try spinning the other way. Yeah, those oh. are cheap. Wait, though, we're right? back. We're back. I'm moving. Oh, 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 nice. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hey. There, yeah. we, go. there we go. Hey, that's super, it take understood. A yeah. Hey, listen. Take a hit. We got six hundred million dollars to make. That's what this PTZ just said. Hey, way to go. We have some dirt on it, camera. Yeah. Good thing about this camera here, uh, Jet. I will say, and all the other ones. So they're all 4K cameras. You know, I had to get it whenever we uh, when we built this course, place. Yeah, high quality. Had to, you know what I mean? Had to had to do that because in four years this is going to be the archaic. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. So that was before we go to ESPN. So then we go to ESPN, and uh, yep, we actually have to dumb down all these cameras yep. to get down to 1080. <laughs> of course. You know because yeah. So that was uh, so this this thing is uh, too qualified for its current. Profession, sure. yeah, mm -hmm. and it's got toughness. This thing personifies our show. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you for being the great okay. PTC. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's it's our Bob Spillane. That yeah. is our, yeah, Bob's, is our that's Bobby. our dump truck. Right? Love you, well, Bobby. Said. Well said. Six hundred million dollars guaranteed forever. That's like the like Benia is what still getting paid. Yeah, yeah. right. Isn't that uh, that's still happening over there in baseball? Yeah, but, but Pat, here's here's the thing about why Wait. you can rationalize six hundred million for Oton. Definitely because. I, I, Billion. No, I mean, the guy The guy is a business. You know, he is the most recognizable and beloved figure in the entire country of Japan. Like, over there, he's an absolute god. And so you have money coming to the team that signs him for marketing deals, for licensing deals. I, I mean, you can rationalize I... that... You are going to pay for Shohei Otani's on-field salary, or at least very much supplement it, simply through off-field stuff alone. Not to mention the tickets, the concessions, the parking, what? all what? those things. And and that's why Toronto makes the most sense, honestly, because no, it, like Toronto has so much to gain. They just spent three hundred million dollars to renovate their stadium another $100 million on the renovation of their minor league complex, or their spring training complex, rather. And so with those two things right there, that's a really hefty outlay. And after a disappointing finish to the season last year, fans there are disillusioned. They came into the season wanting one of two guys. They want either Shohei Otani or Juan Soto. Oh and Juan nice. Soto just went to the Yankees. So Otani's the one who's left. And, I, you know, 
the Blue Jays are pouring everything they can into getting Otani. I mean, what a game changer for Toronto uh, that would be. I, no, I went and saw the Blue Jays play against the uh, Yankees. Yankees against yeah. the Yankees in their ballpark. It was. Uh, were we there for Royal Rumble? Survive? What was up there? I forget. Ooh. Was that during the maybe War Games? Games? There was okay. something was up there. We were up there for a WWE event and had like five hours, and we're just walking through the city, and it was like. Oh, the Blue Jays are playing the Yankees today. So we should try to go to this game. We do. We get, get in there. We're a beautiful ballpark. Yeah, it was awesome. Fans showed up. I don't think uh, the Blue Jays yep. were necessarily great at that point, but it was beautiful vibes. Sunburn, I think, right? I, I, oh, yeah, if definitely. I, if I recall. Oh, roof was open? Toronto's know, amazing. I didn't, yeah, Toronto is a beautiful city, but that is not where the MLB wants city. Shohei to go, right? That wouldn't be, right? Wouldn't that I, be? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, if, if ideally – of course, they want him to be a Dodger because, you know, it's L.A. It's it, He personifies L.A. just in the star quality alone. Because you look around Major League Baseball, there are a lot of great players No offense, Toronto. Baseball. We love Toronto. Right, sure. But it's just like, there, there, there no are way lo- the biggest star in the history of the league. That's, no, you that's know? the point. There are a lot of great players in baseball. There are not a lot of stars. Shohei Otani is a legitimate star. And so to see him in L.A., in a lineup with Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman at Dodger Stadium Ooh. every night. I mean, it would, you know, it would be a scene and it would be fantastic for baseball. But I like the idea that a market like Toronto, which uh, again, big city, but uh, you know, the resonance in the United States isn't all that great. Uh, seeing Shohei Otani up there would be awesome for Toronto, but Major League Baseball, if it had its druthers, yeah, of course they want him in L.A. Of course they want him playing that. Listen, we're playing for a piece of metal, and that piece of metal is going to be won by the biggest star in America. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but um, don't, no offense, Toronto. That is me just asking as a journalist yeah. about what General. you know would be the, the best thing out there. But if he ends up going to Toronto and then just puts that city and team on his back, that'd be a great story, too. Sure. All of Canada would rally, right, Gumpy? I mean, legit. I don't think so. I don't think uh, many people like the Blue Jays in Canada, whether you're in Toronto. He's a Sox fan. Yeah, some, uh, just someone tell Otani to Google Trudeau, and then let's see if he still goes to Toronto. What is your problem? You think I'm he's getting saying. into world politics? I'm just saying. Shohei Otani is bringing people together. He's yes. not worried about tearing people apart. He's not bringing politics in this decision. I don't like, though, um, that – actually, I do. I respect the hell out of it. And in 2023, it's fascinating. The fact that Jet doesn't know. Yeah, crazy. That's that's really impressive to me, especially in a league where you would think there'd be a bunch of leaks everywhere. Them kind of standing strong with not letting anybody know where he's headed, I like it. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. But we would have talked every single day with every photo that popped up about Shohei, just like we did when Deshaun. Yeah. yeah. Remember when he had like a green hat on? Oh, yeah. It was like Deshaun Watts is going to be an eagle or a jet going or something. To the like. We would have done the same thing for Shohei. The fact that he said no to that, I respect it.